Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Uh, today we're going to be making a Twitter bird and I just want to let you guys know that it's going to be a two-part uh, tutorial so be sure to uh, check out the second part after you watch this video. To start us off what we're going to do is come over and grab our ellipse tool and we're going to select a color and I already have this color written down. Um, it's going to be 0166BE. So it's a nice blue color for the body of our Twitter bird. So we're going to hold shift and just drag out um, an adequate size for the body. I'm just going to center this in here. That looks pretty good. Um, now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to add a bevel and emboss. So we're going to come over and click this little FX button. And it's off screen, but I'm going to uh, bevel and emboss. And then we're going to add an inner bevel um, with a technique of smooth. We're going to have it be about... 40% depth and up is the direction, probably about 68 um, as far as the size, maybe a little more, maybe we'll put it at 70, let's see. Yeah, 70 looks probably pretty good. Um, softness, you don't really need anything and uh, just leave the default for uh, everything else. So we'll just click OK and now we have a kind of defined shape here um, for the body. We have it uh, a nice... Uh, some shading kind of going on that was just added by that uh, bevel. So now we're going to add a face in, like a, a face area. We're kind of going to give it a highlight. We're going to add an oval over here. So let's just uh, drag that shape out right now. Don't hold shift this time. And we're kind of going to try and match the curve to the top of his head. And then we're just going to place that up at the top. Might need to make it a little bit bigger. We'll see. All right, I think that looks pretty good. Now, um, the color on this, I'm just going to double click that little uh, icon here, and that'll bring up our color. Um, for the color, we're going to have, let's put 77B0E5. And that's the color we're going to use for the highlight of our face. And we're going to put the opacity somewhere around 20%, maybe 18. I think that'll look pretty good. And as you can see, we have a, a nice little highlight there, and that's where his uh, his face is going to go. All right, so now we're on to uh, the difficult part, and we're going to be uh, making the wings. So what we're going to do is grab the pen tool, and it doesn't really matter what color you use. Uh, let's leave it on what I have there. I'll make a new layer, so we have uh, our wings on a separate layer. And I'm going to just kind of draw out a general shape for some wings here. It's not going to be great. I'm going to pause the video and fix it. Um, because it'll take too much of our time to um, to actually do all that on camera. So I'm going to just kind of make a general shape here and then pause the video. So I'm going to pause the video and I'll come back and it won't look so jacked up. Alright guys, so here's what I have uh, gotten my wing to look like. I'm pretty satisfied with the, um, the style of it. Um, you guys' wings might look different, uh, but this is how I wanted my wing to look on my bird. So, um, as you can see, I have my shape uh, layer here. Um, what we're going to do is just make a duplicate by dragging it down to create new layer. And we're just going to name that um, wing, and then let's just say copy. And then we can just turn that layer off and just drag it down wherever you, you don't want it. Um, it's just in case uh, we screw up later on when we're shading. Um, if you want to come back to this wing and you've already shaded too much, um, your history uh, panel or palette won't uh, bring you back as far as you need, and then you'll be very frustrated. So it's uh, pretty good to just make uh, copies of some of your more important layers uh, before you do anything drastic to them. So uh, what we're going to do now is... I'm going to drag this layer down below the body so that it is behind it. <clears throat> and now what we're going to do is um, add some highlights to this. So I'm going to zoom in. We're going to get the pen tool. And then we're just going to click at the very base of this top wing. Come up here. And <clears throat> we're just going to be making some highlights. So I'm just going to loop it around like that. That looks pretty good. And that's good. Let's um, let's put all these on the same layer. So we'll make another one, and we will 
I put it on a separate layer. It's okay. Um, and we're going to put that one out about there. And if you want to make this a little bit more straight, I kind of want it to be more like a half teardrop than a whole one. Um, and then our next one, I think, is going to come down to about here. Pretty much just accenting the tips of these wings so that kind of gives it a little bit more uh, shape and definition. And then our last um, highlight is going to be kind of just like, I think we're going to make it just the tip of this uh, wing down here. And we're going to size that one back too. Alright, so now I have all of these shapes and they are all going to be merged together. So now what we want to do, actually let's uh, let's unmerge those and we're going to just select a color for these uh, these wing tips and I have the color and it's going to be 83C, 3F and then a B. So we're going to do that and um, I wonder if we can copy the layer style from this to the next one. Let's see, it's not going to let us. So let's just um, double click on that, copy this color, control C, um, and then we're just going to put it onto these. All right. Those will be our highlights, and then we're going to fade those out by uh, lowering the opacity on all of these. So we're just going to put this in a group, and then we can lower the opacity on the entire group. Um, so I just drag that down to this little folder icon and put that in a group, and we'll call this, uh, call this wing highlights. All right. And we'll put the opacity somewhere down, like 20 maybe. I think 20 is pretty good. Maybe 18. I'll leave it at 18. All right, so now what we're gonna do is go to our actual wing and we're gonna start uh, shading it. All right, now the way that we're going to do this is we're going to first click on our layer and then we're going to grab our burn tool and that's this tool right here. It might be underneath dodge or uh, sponge, uh, but we're gonna select the burn tool. It's a little hand looking tool. So um, just grab kind of a fuzzy edged brush, um, something with a hardness lower. Um, put the range on highlights and the exposure on maybe 20 and then maybe we'll bump up the size a little bit of our brush we can't really see it we need to rasterize this shape first um, so I'm gonna hit rasterize and that'll allow us to actually paint on top of it and I'm uh, sizing up my brushes by using these bracket keys right above the enter key a little bit to the left so now what we're gonna do is uh, add a little bit of shading so we're going to kind of shade down in here you can see kind of just bring in some color into this We're just really trying to just give it give it some shape. So mainly around the bottom of the wings, we're kind of going to want to give it a little bit of shape, kind of where the wings are going to uh, meet together at the body. So it's just kind of a whatever you think looks good type of thing. There's no, no said you need to do this, this, and this. It's kind of just... I think that looks pretty pretty good and then that's what you're gonna go with. So we're just kinda trying to give them some shape here. And then we're just gonna kinda come down around on that. Oh, we got a little crazy there. It's a lot easier if you have a tablet, but I'm trying to use a mouse right now, so it's a little bit a little bit more difficult. So the darkest part needs to be at the bottom of the wing and then kinda just kinda shade it up. Um, around the body and when we pull it back we can see what it looks like I think that looks pretty good we can we can probably touch it up later if we need to I think that looks pretty good for our wings um, I might have wanted to leave a little bit uh, of highlight down farther in there um, but I think I think that looks pretty good for uh, demonstrational purposes so we're going to just kind of group this entire wing together and so now we have a group inside of a group and we're just going to call this uh, right wing all right, so we got all our highlights and we have all of our shading. And we're just kind of going to, we can probably fix part of that by just bumping that in a little bit. So we can hide some of that darker area. 
So now we have our right wing done. So what we're gonna do now is duplicate this layer or this group with all this stuff inside. And we're just gonna do that by going and uh, putting it on create new layer. So it says right wing copy, let's put it on erase copy and then type left right here. And now what we're gonna do is click uh, on the outside thing or on the outside handle here and then we're gonna right click and go to flip horizontal. So I'm going to click a uh, little check mark there to uh, assign that. And actually it has flipped it horizontal but it hasn't flipped it over. So what we're gonna do now is click it again and then we're going to flip it vertically. What have I done? Okay, flip it horizontally. 